alert about music. Now we're celebrating because Wham! The final is being reissued. That's right. All packaged and shiny and all all compact with like songs and DVD and all sorts of lovely whammy stuff. So <laughs> whammy stuff. This is Pepsi, by the way. Hello, Pepsi. Hello, Pepsi. <laughs> I did actually hear you off my, uh, before we start the interview, and I do believe Shirley called you Peps. She can. I do enjoy that. We won't take that liberty. <laughs> Don't worry. We won't go. We're familiar. So let's just take us back to the beginning. How did you guys get involved with George Michael and Andrew Ridgely? OK, so this is Shirley. Well, um, originally, George and Andrew, we all went to the same school, which was called uh, Bushy Meads. Right, yes. And um, so George and I always used to go... We us, Well, all of us used to go clubbing. And George and I used to make dance routines up before we used to get to the club, so we'd be prepared to take that stage, you know, as these unknown people. So um, then, obviously, he was writing songs, and, and Wham! suddenly came about, and then we started doing PAs in nightclubs. And then we did a PA in Peter Stringfellows, and a lady came up and said, would you guys like to do Saturday Morning Superstore? Wow. Yes, it's history. Good so Lord. I was in the right place at the right time, basically. Did you have the ambition to be pop stars? No. Or no. Shut up now! No. <laughs> and you ended no. up being in, like, the biggest band I ever! It, it was just <laughs> unbelievable. It's destiny, you see. <laughs> that is yeah. extraordinary. I thought this was, like, meticulously planned, like oh, Simon Cowell does. the most unprofessional set <laughs> ever. Saying that, saying that, I, I can imagine that George had, had a vision. Because he has visions of the future. He's a real futurist, our George. Is he? In what so, respect? Um, I think, Crystal well, balls. I think, well, <laughs> Move on. Don't get personal. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, you, stop Let's it. Let's leave crystal balls out of it. Um, <laughs> no, he has a real insight as to how he wants his future to be. And I think that, I, you know, I can imagine he had his sights on being, you know, where he is right now. So um, despite Shirley just going with the flow, I think George was very much... Um, geared towards um, being a pop star. What was George like at school? Well, I'm the year above them, so I didn't really talk to them much at school. Oh, you know, that's snobby. Like that's younger. a bit snobby. Yes, I, you know, they were like the young, silly boys. I was looking at the boys in the year ahead, actually. Oh. But, um, but I think George was a very good student at school, actually. I remember him with playing violin. Oh, you couldn't imagine that, could you? <laughs> oh, it was just the dreamy kids that played violin at our school. He I'm sounds not a bit nerdy, anything. doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he, he was an no, intellect, you know. It's like, <laughs> you, I was a rough council kid, and he was like a kind of middle-class intellect, I thought. I can just see it now in the playground. Pepsi and Shirley having a fag behind the sheds. Andrew Ridge, like, sauntering on through. Oh, I'm off for my violin lesson with George. <laughs> well, the, I, I have to put you straight there. I actually didn't go to school with them. Shirley was the one that w went to school And I with never them. had a fag. And she never had a fag. Wow. And, uh, <laughs> um, but I, I met them, um, George, Andrew and Shirley, just before they, well, Wham went on the world, first ever world tour. DC Lee had left and joined Star Council, so that made room for me, which was very nice. <laughs> and um, I met them, and Shirley met me at the... I can't remember what... Was it Finsbury Park Station or something yeah, like that? So. And um, she looked very cool. What was your car? Ford Capri. She had a Ford oh, Capri. Oh, and I thought, I thought she was... Roof. Very dice. I thought she was the most <laughs> coolest snazziest chick I'd ever come across for a while and um, there we were in the car and we were talking about Shirley Bassey because we're real fans of Shirley Bassey and then I turned up at George's house and I met both George and Andrew and I sort of I fitted in straight away and they were just lovely and there we were in George's um, lounge doing dance routines Bad. And that's how it was, you know, <laughs> just plain and simple. And what was it like being a pop star in the 80s? It was fun. It was about being an individual. It wasn't about being like anybody else. It was just about having fun and trying not to be like anybody else that was out there. So that's why all the bands were so individual at the time. Mm. So you had Duran, you had Spandau. Culture Club, we, you had Spandau mm. and all the other bands at the time. That's why it's so cool now, you see. Lots of yeah. clubbing. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah totally. Yeah. Lots of partying. I bet. I, can, I yeah. bet you had a fantastic time. Oh, yeah. Guys <laughs> like you are bad through and through. Let's go. Let me take you to a place where membership is smiling face. Isn't yeah, that yeah. the sexiest video as well? That Was, was that really one of your favourites, that video? Yeah, yeah, especially the way, I, the way I was swaddled in a white bikini. I know. Oh, oh my stop. God. It's Club Tropicana. <laughs> Were oh. you all chasing the same men? No. No. <gasps> I, I can't remember. No, God, it's, it's so long ago. I've only known Shirley to be with one man, and that's Mr. Kemp. Oh. Mm. And yeah. that's it, as far as I'm concerned. She was never a chaser. <laughs> I only <laughs> Just discovered. <being> <laughs> I only discovered very ye- many years later that I had people that sort of fancied me but I wasn't interested I was just free single and having a good time did you any did either of you two have an inkling that George was gay earlier on that's not my question that one <laughs> <laughs> oh, bitch. well no not at all really no. no he kept it himself didn't he no I just no. don't think there's why would you be able to tell someone's gay mm. I don't know maybe it just when you're very close to someone and your friends, you're just seeing them for your, you know, what they are. The so they are I wouldn't yeah. have said that, oh, you know, like, I think he's, you know, when you, you, you meet people, you think, I'm sure they're gay or the, but never, ever thought that about him. Well, how, how did oh. you feel when, you, when you've seen George himself being kind of hounded by the press? How does that make you feel? Oh, it's like, he's so private, really. You know, he's a private man. He has his life, and it's just... I just know, think it's a price he has to pay. But yeah, obviously, shouldn't it's, have it's, to. Well, it, it is just is. It is there. It's like it's a, it's a, an effect of, of, you know, of what he does. So there's nothing he can do apart from withdraw from that. So, but he can't help it. He, he, he is what he is, not because he wants to be a celebrity. He's just one of the most talented people in this country with the most amazing voice, songwriter, so everyone wants to know about him. And the, thing, the thing is, is that it becomes too clinical, you see. It's like, right, got an album out, use the press. Mm. But there is a moment where the press is, OK, fine, you've used us, now we want a little bit more from you. you so see, there he needs has never to be... used the press, though. No, I'm not referring to George. I'm actually referring to the way that the press is at the moment and I just think that it just needs to get a little bit more healthier here here Absolutely. I think it probably will do listen we could talk to you guys for hours you but could I know, couldn't you I know we could but I know oh, you've no. got to go we've got oh, a busy day oh. quick question though when the final which are your favorite tracks on here <gasps> Oh, we were, we were well, just actually talking we were talking about Club Tropicana because yeah. I love the, yeah. the, the, the video to that um, I love everything she wants. I love oh, that. Yes. It's one of my favourites. Yeah, yeah, I love uh, the bongos. Bom, 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 <laughs> bom, bom, bom. <laughs> Listen, Pepsi and Shirley, great talking to you. And Thanks you. for your time. Oh, Take care, Neil and Debbie. Oh. 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 Oh.